Hi everyone! So today I am finally, finally showing you guys what car I got and I'm going to be doing a little car tour. I wanted to quickly recap what happened to my last car, um, if you guys didn't know. So way back in April I got into a car crash. I was on the way to the movies and as I went through a green light, someone decided to make a U-turn and T-boned my car. So it was agreed that it was the other driver's fault for the accident and because of my work schedule I couldn't get my car in to the shop for a little bit. So I kind of procrastinated taking it in but I finally took it into the shop and had them assess the damage. Um, it turned out that the damages were way more severe than we thought and insurance got back to me and was like, yeah, the car is totaled. So they paid me and it took me about a month to get my new car. Finally, after a very long wait, here is my new car. Let's check out the car. This is my 2019 Toyota Corolla and I've discovered that I love Toyotas. This is by far my favorite car that I've had. Um, her name is Edith. So the first thing in my car is my sunglasses as you saw earlier. Yeah. This is my Monster Energy. You know they do the job way better than coffee so that's why it's in my car right now. Didn't get too much sleep last night. So on my little um, sh shift thing, I forgot what it's called, um, I have this bracelet that my little sister Aurora made for me. Um, she didn't know how to spell my name, so it's like Hoella, but it's very cute. Um, it's way too big for my wrists, which is why I just keep it in my car. And the next thing is a lighter. So I keep this lighter in here and hairspray as a self-defense thing. I hope I don't burn down my car when I do this. It's like a flamethrower. So that's why I have... <coughs> oh gosh. I should not have done that in the car. <coughs> I should have stepped out of the car for that, but that is the reason for these two being here. <coughs> Moving on. So my car, <coughs> it smells so bad. So when I got my car, it came with this neat little like phone stand thing. It doesn't work too well when your phone has a case on it. Bam. Just like that. And it came with a car. I didn't even have to buy it. So that's pretty cool. And then in the little middle console, whatever this is, armrest thing, I have Motrin for headaches. This is my car deodorant. I have two separate deodorants. One that I keep in my bathroom and one that I keep in my car. Because sometimes before work, I forget deodorant. So it's easier to just keep it in the car. That way, you know, I always got deodorant on. And the next thing in here is my dry shampoo. For you know, when you're on the go and your hair is getting a little greasy and you gotta fix it up, got that handy. Then I have some lotion. This is actually my favorite hand lotion. It's Champagne Toast. I got it at Bath and Body Works. And then we have Clorox wipes. You know, those are just good to keep on hand. And then wet ones. Because hot girls keep wet wipes in their cars. I also recently just bought this tire pressure gauge thingy because my tire pressure light came on and I had to check it. So this only cost me like $2 and it was at the gas station. I 
it just boop. Tells you how much pressure is in your tires. Air, pressure, whatever. Another thing I keep in my little armrest thingy-majiggy is nail clippers because you really never know when you're gonna need these. You know, in an emergency situation or you know, you got a hangnail, you know, whatever. You got these handy. The last two things in here are tweezers, also just for emergencies, and hair ties, also for emergencies. Especially when you're riding with the windows down and your hair is going all crazy. You know, you got a hair tie, ready to tie your hair back and then, you know, enjoy the ride. Now I have to shove all those back in. <laughs> now if you follow me into the back seat where all the fun happens, not that kind of fun, you weirdo. This is the only thing in my back seat. <laughs> it's a Freddy Fazbear pillow that one of my little brothers stole from my cousin's house and put in my car. So, you know, if you want a little nap or a jump scare, that's what's in my back seat. <laughs> now let's move on to the trunk. And the final part of my car, the trunk. I have only technically four things, but only three things in the trunk. And they're a little bit weird. So the first thing is my roller skates. I went roller skating recently and I never took them out of my car, so they're just sitting in my trunk. The next thing is a bike pump, and if I'm being completely honest, I don't even know why this is in my car. I don't have a bike. Um, I actually did try to use this to pump up my tires one time. Uh, it didn't work, because it is a bike pump. So that's just randomly in my trunk. And then I have sunscreen. I don't know how this got in there either, but I guess I have sunscreen in there. And then the last thing, technically the fourth thing, is my spare tire and all the tools necessary for you know, changing a tire. Fun fact, I know how to change a tire all by myself. I learned and I've actually had to do it like quite a few times unfortunately in my last car had some issues and the tires weren't the best so I got a lot of practice in with that and that is everything in the trunk <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the car tour and I didn't talk about any of the boring stuff like how the maintenance is super cheap or how good the gas mileage is. And looking back at the footage, I realized that I didn't talk about what was in my glove department. Um, there's nothing exciting in there. There's nothing, there's nothing fun. It's just paperwork and, you know, stuff for the car. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.